part b question number 36 calculate the carl pearson correlation coefficient for the following data x is the demand of product and y is the sale of product so using the assumed mean deviation method for calculating the carl pearson coefficient of correlation the formula is r is equal to n sigma dx dy minus sigma dx into sigma dy whole thing divided by root of n sigma dx square minus sigma dx the whole square then root of n sigma dy square minus sigma dy the whole square now let us do the sum draw eight columns first column write down the serial number then second column capital x third column capital y fourth column x minus a that is assumed mean and that is denoted by dx then next column y minus a that is dy then next column dx square then next column dy square and the last column dx into dy so first write down the serial numbers there are 10 values given so write down from 1 to 10 then fill the x column write down the numbers that is demand of product x 23 27 28 29 30 31 33 35 36 36 and 39 then write down the y column sale of product 18 22 23 24 25 26 28 29 30 30 and 32 you can make a total of these two columns now itself so the total of x column is 311 that is sigma x and the total of y column is 257 that is sigma y now let us find the actual mean using the formula that is x bar is equal to sigma x by n so sigma x is here 311 and the number of values is 10 so 311 divided by 10 gives you 31.1 so x bar is 31.1 then we find out actual mean for y column so the formula here is y bar is equal to sigma y by n so the total of y column is 257 divided by number of values 10 gives you 25.7 so taking the nearest values to the actual mean we take 31 as the assumed mean for x and 26 as the assumed mean for y now subtracting 31 from x values 23 minus 31 gives you minus 8. 27 minus 31 gives you minus 4. 28 minus 31 gives you minus 3. 29 minus 31 gives you minus 2. 30 minus 31 gives you minus 1. 31 minus 31 is 0. 33 minus 31 is 2. 35 minus 31 is 4. 36 minus 31 is 5. And 39 minus 31 is 8. Now next we have the y column. And the assumed mean here is 26. So subtracting 26 from y values, 18 minus 26 gives you minus 8. 22 minus 26 gives you minus 4. 23 minus 26 is minus 3. 24 minus 26 is minus 2. 25 minus 26 is minus 1. 26 minus 26 is 0. 28 minus 26 is 2. 29 minus 26 is 3. 30 minus 26 is 4 and 32 minus 26 is 6 and of course you know very well that when the assumed mean is greater than the values we give the minus sign while subtracting and if the x values or the y values are greater than the assumed mean we give the plus values now let us add the dx values dx value add all the positive integers and add all the negative integers separately subtract and give the symbol of the greater number so answer here is 1 then add all the dy values add the negative integers separately positive integers separately subtract and give the symbol of the greater number so here it is minus 3 then we write dx square the next column is dx square square all the dx value minus 8 square is 64 minus 4 square 16 minus 3 square 9 Minus two square four minus one square one zero square zero two square four four square sixteen five square twenty five and eight square sixty four. 
add all the dx square values that is 203. So, sigma dx square is equal to 203. Then square the dy values minus 8 square 64, minus 4 square 16, minus 3 square 9, minus 2 square 4, minus 1 square 1, 0 square 0, 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 4 square 16 and 6 square 36. Add all the dy square values, it is 159. So, sigma dy square is equal to 159. Then multiply the values of dx and dy. So, minus 8 into minus 8 gives you 64. So, minus into minus is plus there. Minus 4 into minus 4, 16. Minus 3 into minus 3, 9. Minus 2 into minus 2, 4. Minus 1 into minus 1, 1. 0 into 0, 0. 2, 2 is 4. 4 into 3, 12. 5 into 4, 20. Then 8 into 6, 48. Then add all the dx, dy values. It gives you 178. So, sigma dx dy is equal to 178. Now, substituting the values in the formula, r is equal to n into sigma dx dy minus sigma dx into sigma dy, the whole thing divided by root of n into sigma dx square minus sigma dx the whole square into root of n into sigma dy square minus sigma dy the whole square. So, n is number of values here is 10 and the total of dx dy that is sigma dx dy or summation of dx dy is 178. So, 10 into 178 minus sigma dx is 1 and the sigma dy is minus 3. So, 1 into minus 3 there. Then in the numerator root of n is 10 there sigma dx square that is the total of dx square is 203. So, 10 into 203 minus sigma dx that is the total of dx that number to be squared. So, 1 square into root of 10 into n, n is 10 there into sigma dy square is 159. So, 10 into 159 minus sigma dy is minus 3. So, minus 3 the whole square. Then evaluating the values r is equal to 10 into 178 gives you 1780. Then 1 into minus 3 gives you 3 by 203 into 10 gives you 2030 minus 1 square gives you 1. Then 10 into 159 gives you 1590 minus minus 3 square is plus 9. So, minus into plus gives you minus 9. R is equal to 1783 by 2030 minus 1 gives you 2029. So, root of 2029 into then 1590 minus 9 gives you 1581. Root of 1581. Then R is equal to 1783 divided by, so root of 2029 is 45.05 and root of 1581 is 39.76. Multiplying 45.05 into 39.76, R is equal to 1783 by 1791. On dividing 1783 by 1791, it gives you R is equal to 0 0.9955. Since the value is in positive, there exists a positive high correlation between x and y.